It's a time for... Becky from China. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I want to take a close look at a Bluetooth speaker. Yes, because besides I love games, I'm also a big fan of audio. So in this video, let's take a close look at the brand Xiaomi. And Xiaomi sells a lot of different stuff. And I did see and hear there are some products out there that are quite interesting, or what I think are interesting. For example, these Bluetooth speakers. So the Bluetooth speakers, the first thing I noticed is that they are way quite heavy. And the build quality is something I've never seen before for the price range because I did a lot of reviews of Bluetooth speakers that you can buy here in the Netherlands with my Dutch channel. But Xiaomi brings something different to the table. So what do I mean with bringing something different to the table? It's quite interesting because when you're looking at all the cheap devices I've reviewed, this thing is not that bad. And the previous models I've reviewed were more like Dutch brands or stuff that you can buy from China, in the Netherlands, from the action. But this thing from Xiaomi looks completely different and also feel quite heavy and that is something that interests me i'm thinking hey how can we have the same price amount but still have something different when it comes to the quality here at the back as you can see over here we're having a micro usb for charging we have an aux in so if you want to do it old school that's possible with an mp3 play for example of course it's a bluetooth speaker so we can use it with bluetooth connection i did notice with the previous videos i've checked out with the pulsars you can see some of them have an SD or a USB function. So it's very limited when it comes to the functionalities and how you can connect it. All right, so the brand was Xiaomi, model number version two, Bluetooth connection 4.2. It's not the latest because I have seen some other speakers already having 5.0. All right, the reach is around 10 meters. It has an output two times 2.5 watts. And I can say that these tiny speakers are very loud. A total use of 10 hours on a battery of 1200 milliamps. So I'm very curious how this is going to sound. So let's try this out. Controls, it's very limited. Okay, so let's power it on by holding the on and off switch. It will take a couple of seconds, yep. Now it will try to connect. As you can see over here, the LED will start blinking. So we're going to grab my telephone and we're going to try to connect it. Okay, so I've powered on my telephone and going to the Bluetooth connection and we can see that the speakers are ready over here. So let's connect it and let's see how it sounds. It takes quite long. Sometimes it gives you an error message or it just takes freaking forever. Let's it go. So I can say that this thing plays very loud and I do like it. There's something you don't see very often with cheap Bluetooth speakers. And another thing that I also noticed when you're putting it on the loudest setting, you get a lot of bass. And that is something you don't have with these cheap devices from the action that I've reviewed on my Dutch channel. And when you're putting it very loud, normally with the cheap phones, it's going to get deformed the sound. It feels very high pitchy with this. Oh, five rays like crazy. Now what I noticed is that what you can see over here, the volume control can work very easily and very fast. But sadly, normally with the Bluetooth speakers I've reviewed from the Pulsar brand, they can, for example, when you're holding its volume control and when you press it only once, you can skip to the next song. And that is sadly not possible with this version. Oh boy, this sounds really great.
Okay guys, so to conclude, I am surprised and I'm very impressed with this tiny speaker. And the reason why, what I already mentioned a couple of times, is that I have reviewed so many of these cheap devices that most of them, like from Pearlsar and some other brands, are sounding all the same. Not a lot of bass or overkill of bass, and when you're going to put them very loud, oh man, my ears are going to bleed because they are sounding so awful. But this thing, from zero up to 100% of the volume, this thing sounds amazing. And I'm just going to be honest with you guys, I wanted to review more of the Xiaomi products because I feel that these things are more like the next level when it comes to China products and quality. So yeah, let me know in the comments, what do you think of this? Did you ever own a Xiaomi product or a Bluetooth speaker? Let me know in the comments. I wanna thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit the little bell, comment Wicked Family, and I will see you in the next one.